200 and something. Axie don't know why I put something right there. I should know his batting average, but I don't really pay attention to Walker, but he is a good player. So then Walker has not batting average 300. And I'm like, why does he have batting average 300? I don't know, but that's how the MLB works. But that's how the MLB works. Then we got, is it that the Mets don't have any power left? I should have changed the title, but have any power left? I mean, so let's say, like, well, like, with the Mets, is that they get hits a lot, but they don't have enough power in them. When they hit it, they have to have enough power to hit it far enough in the field. Because it, cause if it's bases loaded two outs, they hit the ball hard, but they don't hit it far. You see, Sethmus, he has a lot of power. I'm not worried about him. But he ha I mean, he's struggling a little bit, like Conforto. Conforto, I mean, Conforto, I mean, I should have put Granderson on this, but I'll get to him in a minute why I put him on the list. Cespedes and Conforto are, they're, they're struggling. I mean, Conforto's actually not struggling anymore. I mean, he was in a major slump. But now Cespedes is something he's striking out a few times. I mean, I can get that. Conforto, <laughs> man. So then we got Granderson, who's actually doing pretty good. Like, every game, he's, like, scoring home runs, solo home runs. It's giving us a lead. But the Mets have to know that... Oh, are you recording? Yeah, I too. Okay. I'm saying, like, the Mets are, like, it's, like, it's, like, Granderson, he has solo home runs every time to give us a lead 1-0, but the Mets have to know that a 1-0 lead to, let's say, the Cubs, the Nationals, the Pirates, um, what other teams, um, the, the Red Sox, the Giants, all those other teams that are above, are in front of them, one a 1-0 run lead, Mom recording me. Is that even calling you Bill Bosby? Okay, but we'll call me. Yeah, is I, that, I got you recording. Okay. I'll call you more today. But, like, it's, like, not going to hold. A one your lead is not going to hold much, you know that. It says Cespedes, Vanderson, Conforto, Walker. Ward is actually pretty hitting. It just, like, that makes no sense. He's actually hitting pretty well. But he, I think he should hit more home runs. He only had two home runs in the season. But I can see why. He's a bench player. He's, like, a backup player. Because yesterday the Aza, because yesterday the Aza was going to hit, but then he said, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up, you're going to strike out, two outs, bases loaded, you're going to strike out, go back on the bench, no one likes you, Flores, come on, I, I, I need you to sub hit for the Aza. So, Cespedes, Granderson, Conforto, Walker, Flores, Johnson, and Loney are the only guys who runs batted in or run score. Now, is it recording? Now, trades to or for the Mets. Now, trades to or for the Mets. Juan, Juan Uribe. You know, Juan Uribe was on the Mets last year. He did pretty good. I mean, in his first three starts, he had a walk-off hit. And now last... <laughs> okay, okay, Brian. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. Now, last year, Juan Uribe... Okay. That's it, okay. Don't think I said that. That's an arrow right there. Don't, don't, don't think I said that's okay, guys. That's an arrow. Now, why your rebate? He was a good hitter. And his first and his third start yet last year with the Mets, he had a walk off hit when when those bases loaded, I think, two outs. I think it was first and second. I'm not sure, but it was something like that. He had a walk off hit and he made and he, the Mets won the game. And now it's like, um, and it's like, you know what? We got Kelly Johnson. And why don't we get one rebate back? Well, he's with the Cleveland Indians, and we're not even going to bother with the Cleveland Indians because we don't like the Cleveland Indians. Even though the Cleveland Indians are actually in front of us in the league, that doesn't matter. Anyway, Ruben Zahada, he's probably not coming back, but I had to put him on the list because I actually liked Ruben Zahada last year. I mean, even though he left the match, which I, which I think he should have stayed, I actually like Ruben Zahada. I actually want him to come back. If we have the opportunity to trade the asset for Ruben Zahada, I want Ruben Zahada to come back. Daniel Murphy, oh hell no, why the heck did I even put him on the list? Sorry for the language. But I mean, why the heck did I put Daniel Murphy on the list? Brandon, why did you put Daniel Murphy on the list? I'm telling you in a second. Well, the reason I put Daniel Murphy on the list is because let's say Daniel Murphy is not doing good. He has like a, even though this is never gonna happen, even though this is never gonna happen, let's say he has zero batting average. That's not gonna happen for like the next 20 years with him. Even if, if he plays for the next 20 years, I don't know. Let's say he. I had like a 100 batting average. Really? Really? We tried to do complex. It's like, 
Okay, oh, never mind. Scratch that. Let's say in the next few years, he wants to come back with the Mets. He'll come back with us, maybe, if he wants to come back. I mean, it's his choice. I mean, he'll be, he's a free agent, but the, but the Nationals signed him three years for like $27 million, something like that. Now, runs, runs, or runs, RBIs. The Mets have to score runs. You have to score runs better. No, no solo home runs. Well, you can hit maybe like the Mets are winning maybe like five to zero in the top of the set. I see. Maybe, let's say the Mets are winning five to three against the Pirates. A solo home run would be all right. Maybe like a little insurance run. Now, are they good? Are the good? Are the Mets? Are they good? Thirty six and thirty. That's not bad. I just wish we were like maybe forty and. 30, something like that. I wish we were more than six games apart. But I mean, we're first in the wild card standings. We're ninth in the league. We're fourth in the National League. Oh, well. But we're six games behind the Nationals. What is going on? I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, we are going to go into the playoffs and we're going to beat them. Next time we play them, we're going to sweep them. I know we're going to sweep them. We're going to sweep the Nationals. Screw Daniel Murphy. I mean, I want us to be this. I want us to get by the end of this year. I want us to go. I want us to be in the top five. I want us to be in the top three in, in the National League. I want us to still be first in the wild card. I want us to be zero games behind the Nationals. I want us to be first at the end by the end of this year. Now, World Series need to win. I'm not gonna say anything about the World Series last year. I'm not even gonna mention it. I, okay, I, okay, I just mentioned it. I'm not going to talk about the World Series last year. Just, it wasn't the way we planned it. You know, anyway. Okay, okay, anyway. Okay, we have to win the World Series this year. We we are going to win the NLCS. We're going to be the wild card winners. And we are going to win. We are going to win the World Series, okay? We are not going to fall behind. We're not going to go to third place. We're not going to go to fourth place. We're not going to go to fifth place. We're not going to go to tenth place. We're going to win the World Series. And the four and these players right here are the players that maybe the Mets are going to have to trade. Maybe the Oz are, we're going to trade them. Polecki and keep him at the sub. Oh, I see spot that wrong. Probably, I don't think there's even a C in his name. I mean, oh, crap. And, and never mind, P pretend, pretend like there's like no C in there. Pretend like there's no C in there. So, Polity, eh, maybe you could keep him for a sub for like a catcher. Maybe if, maybe let's see, maybe, I mean, maybe let's say, maybe, maybe, let's say, let's say maybe, I meant, Darno or R Rivera are not playing because maybe he has a headache or, or okay, that, 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 that's not a very stupid excuse. Let's say, like, let's say he has a broken knee or a dislocated hand, not like his hand's like right here. Let's say that it happened. Polity, keep him as sub. To Aza, you have to trade him. I'm sorry, but you have to trade to Aza. I mean, mm. I mean, the Tony that he's a bad player, last year he came up the bat and Flores had the hit for him. That's how bad he is. Loney, actually, I think I should take Loney off the list. I took Loney off the list because, like I said earlier, he reminds me of Cabrera because he gets on base. He, he brings people on base. He gives him that opportunity to score runs. And I like him. Not in a bad way. Kelly, I mean, Ty Kelly, he's a good player, but he doesn't play a lot. Like, I guess he got a break yesterday because I haven't seen him for the past few games. And now, better hit him now. We gotta trade him right there. I'm gonna circle. Right here. This is the dude you have to trade, the Aza. I'm sorry, guys, but you have to trade the Aza. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, maybe you could trade Ty Kelly, maybe Policki, I mean, I mean, like I said for the hundredth time, to tell you how bad of a hitter Da Aza is, he didn't hit yesterday. Well, he did, but when those bases loaded, two outs, one floors had to hit for him. Now, the reason why they probably let Wilmer hit the, instead of him was probably because Wilmer gets base hits, but yesterday he didn't, and we lost the game probably the one. I'm not getting into deep depth with that game until later. Now, Conclusion. Conclusion. The Mets rely, re, the Mets rely on too many solo home runs. Like I said earlier, for the hundredth time, 
Like with the DeAza thing. The Mets rely on too many solo home runs. A home run is good, but to get if you get people on base, you get even more points. Let's say you're losing four to one, and you do a, a solo home run. It's like the ninth inning. Your team's almost gonna lose the game. It's only four to two. Let's say, oh, let's say maybe it's, I mean, let's say that that was a man on maybe first, second, or third. Let's say that, and you hit a home run, you get that you get a a double home. Um, you you get a a do, a home run that that is for two points, four to three. Well, let's say you have bases loaded, you get a grand slam, get it, make it five to four. But if you have three people on base, actually two people on base, you have a three run homer, four four to four, tie the game. That's why solo home runs. I mean, solo home runs are alright, cause like let's say your team is like up five to three, a solo home run would be, would be good to give like a little insurance, make make it six to three. Next, the Mets rely on their pitching staff to close out the game. Now, all of our pitchers are good. I'll get the hard way in a second. Now, Fam <laughs> now, 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 yeah. they rely on him a little too much because I know the closers are very important in the game because you have to close out the game, make sure no runs come in. But you see, Familia is good, like how my dad says. He's good only when the Mets have the lead. Only if, if the Mets don't have the lead, he's gonna be a little weak. Because like it's like because a healthy relief pitcher gets some runs in, get the lead like six to one or a hundred to zero, even though that's very rare. Like so like let's say like like six to three. You let your closer let your closer do the job, but like don't rely on them too much because you do you put too much pressure on them. Because let's say that that like that like there's a man on third with zero with level like only like one out. And the and the hitters coming up is a very good hitter, like let's say like Freddie Freeman, Jose De Bautista, Daniel Murphy, Worth, Jason Worth. Let's say like that. You're putting too much pressure on your pitcher because if if like if like if the good hitter is gonna hit a home run, they'll tie the game. You gotta you gotta and let's say that 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 hitter who got on base was from the other pitcher that was before your elite pitcher. You gotta get that person out to put less pressure on your pitcher. Now, the Mets, and now the final, now this is, now the conclusion is why the Mets can't score any runs. Now, the final reason why the Mets can't score any runs is that the Mets have to get men on base to get more points on the board. I said this a hundred times. To get, to be, like, like, just because you hit a home run doesn't mean you're a good player. Like, like, let's say that, like, you're a very bad player. No, 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 okay, this is kind of an example. Anyway, like, but like, let's say that, like, okay, let's say, like, like, you are on base, and the hitter who comes after you hits a home run to make it, let, let's say the score is, like, six to three, and your team is losing, and if the person hits a home run, they'll make it six to five. That's okay, because you're only one run behind. Because like the get because like not only getting men on base gets more points for you, but it evens the score out. Because let's say like a, a, a hundred times, let's do this. Let's say the Mets are losing six to one, six to one, and they have a man on first and third. And then let us say the hitter Cespedes he has a three run homer. He will make it six to four. Eh, still six. Eh, still still losing. But let's say. This is very rare, but let's say the Aza hits a home run. He'll make it six to five. That's good because you're kind of making it less of a losing game for your team. More home runs for your team that has men on base is gonna make it better because you you even the game out with the scores because you because if you hit a solo home run, your team's losing six to one. You make it six to two. That's not an even game. If it's a ninth inning, your team's gonna lose six to two. And now that's now this are the now these are the reasons. Why the Mets suck at getting runs. The end.